What's up guys? It's not in frame Joe here. Lift that camera up. Okay, we're good. Hold on. What's up guys? It's Timmy Joe here and Taryn's joining me. We've got his PC. <laughs> we're going to take it apart and we're going to see how dirty it is. What's inside it? He doesn't know about specs. He showed me a thing on his phone. He's like, these are my specs. So we're going to find out exactly um, what's inside here and who built this for you. Uh, shout out to Adrian Aberhoff. Adrian Aberhoff. You're the man, <laughs> I assume. And uh, like just pick the parts for you too? Uh, he suggested certain parts and I just agreed with it. I was... Just so happy to get a computer. <laughs> and you paid for it yourself? Yeah. Okay. And do you remember how much? Or do you uh, want to share 2. that? 2.5 million. dollars. <laughs> $2,500 computer is nothing to... Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's so dirty in here. We're also yep. going to be doing a cleanup. Yep. All right. So he's got a Cooler Master case that I would say is like... Uh, getting up there in age, but still uh, a really relevant case, uh, case. And how old is the computer? Um, I'd say maybe around two years now. Two years, okay. So we have an AIO, which is nice. It's uh, just a smaller one, but that's cool. And we see here an MSI video card. So that's nice. And it's a 970? 970, yep. Okay, so you know that, that two years, that makes sense. That would have been a pretty high-end card at the time. No wonder it was 2500 bucks. <laughs> and do you have an SSD you need to know? Uh, I believe I do. Well, you do. You have a Samsung Evo. Yep. Holy jeez. Good thing you stopped by because it is very <laughs> uh, dusty in here. And then you have a games drive, I take it. Yeah. That's kind of stuck in there. Do you know how big that is? Um, I believe 250 uh, two two gigs, two point five oh, gigs. Um, it might be. I think it's eight. Eight, eight gigs. Or uh, jeez, that, that'd be big. Uh, we'll figure it know. out. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have a gold power supply, and it's a seven hundred and fifty watt. So that's you could do like two of those video cards with that. Uh, that's a pretty nice power supply, anyways. But it's dirty as all hell. So we're gonna clean it up for him. <laughs> We're also going to maybe run a quick series of benchmarks on it right now and see if we can improve upon the scores. Also, we'll see if he's overclocked it or if we can get some overclock going once we clean this out or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and he might even lend me this video card and I'll send him home with something a little bit better to play around with. Well, I review this video card, 970 on the channel, so. That should be fun to, to check out as well. So let's get to cleaning this up. Uh, but first we're gonna run a quick set of benchmarks and just kind of see what uh, this computer's doing. And I think it's a Core i7-6700. Yep. And it does overclock, so it's a yep. K? Okay, yep. so that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a really, just a, pretty much a top-end computer. Like So <laughs> we'll be uh, checking it out. And that's the ugliest ram i've ever seen i think Here, check this out it's pretty ugly but i mean it i'm spoiled the I, job done i doesn't have any lights on it so <laughs> but as long as it works it's uh looks like can't even tell what it is on it so we'll boot the computer up and we'll see
computers back together. It was dusty. Yeah, it well, sure was. It was insanely <laughs> dusty, but it actually wasn't affecting the temperatures all that bad because he has that little AIO in there and the uh, 6700K is not overclocked. It was staying at like 50 degrees and all uh, of the changes that we did, uh, blowing out all the dust and stuff like that, it only altered the temperatures down like one or two degrees. So good on Intel 6700K for running pretty calm and quiet if it's not overclocked. But we want to give him the benefit of a little bit of overclocking here because his CPU should go, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an i7. It should go to like 4.8 gigahertz if you really wanted to push it. But it's only running at 4 right now. And I think 4.5 is totally achievable for all the time use. And it'll get you like another 10 FPS in games, 5 FPS in games if we're... That fly. <laughs> How about you, boy? <laughs> we found the overclocking settings. So there we go. Can you see the? There we go. We can see it now. So uh, there's some weird performance upgrade thing in here that just does it automatically. But we're going to CPU clock ratio. There it is. Uh, to 45. Advanced voltage settings, and then set this to maybe 1.32. And then I said it should boot. No problem. I told ya. There we go. All right, we're all booted up now, 4.5 gigahertz. We have his uh, computer uh, overclocked modestly, an overclock that anybody could do. It took a few settings. I set it to uh, a multiplier of 45, which should give him about a you know, 10%, 12% increase in performance with like basically no downsides. And before at stock speeds, uh, his AIO was keeping his CPU nice and frosty around 50 degrees on the package. And we're going to run Cinebench now and see how well it improved, as well as make sure the temperatures don't get too crazy. Now, immediately, they're jumping up 10 degrees, around 60. But remember, I was telling you, as long as with Intel, you're not seeing anywhere near yeah. 80, you should be fine. We're also hearing his AIO work a little bit harder. But uh, yeah, we're, it's, it's stuck at 60, so we had an increase of 10 degrees, but that's, that's nothing and it's going to be 922. 904. 904. <laughs> now the dust is employed. 975! Oh. Boom! We almost got 100 points of Cinebench for a tiny little overclock. So <laughs> that is awesome. So we'll run through Firestrike again and see how well it improves graphic performance. All right, so we gained 100 points in Firestrike and 100, almost 100 points in Cinebench, like 90. So uh, your computer's going to be a little bit snappier, but, uh, uh, but I think what we really accomplished today was we cleaned the inside of this thing out so that your parts are going to last longer. Yeah. And are you going to do it by yourself <laughs> in like six months? Because, man, there was a lot of dust in his AIO. It yep. was crazy. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so this completes today's video. Looking at uh, his computer, specs are up on the screen here, but a 6700K, 16 gigs of uh, like the cheapest DDR4 uh, memory I've ever seen. He's got a GTX 970, which is a nice uh, MSI version with uh, the Twin Frozer edition or whatever. He's got an 850 Evo hard drive and a nice little AIO on there. That's just a small one, but it seems to be doing a, a good job. It made it so we can comfortably overclock this processor to give him a little bit more juice and time. And uh, I guess he'll get to play with the 1070 for a little bit. Yeah and uh, he can report back on how he liked that experience and then I'm gonna rip it right back from him. But <laughs> look forward to a uh, GTX 970 review from um, yours truly. I'll use it as my main card for maybe a week or something like that and give you guys the beans on it. But uh, make sure you check out my contest and little Smiley over here who's barely said a word in this video. Yeah. What do you have to say? Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video. There you go. Don't forget to clean your computer. And we'll be, uh, see you, catch you on the flip side. Boo! Boo! <laughs> I always gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs>